Hi, today we're talking about filler rods. Some very dry topic, no sparks, but very interesting in itself too. We're covering 4043 and 5356 being probably the two most popular aluminum filler rods and see what they do and what their limitations are. 4043 versus 5356. I know there's a ton more out there. Those two are by far the most common. So if you either weld 60, 61 aluminum or all of 6000 series, you can use either or. If you weld 3003, that's usually the diamond plate, you can use either or. On 5000 series, you want to use a 5000 wire. The only exception is the 5052 plate that can be welded with either or and that's the most common for general fabrication out of that family. So all these can be welded with both wires. So let's look at what the pros and cons are, what the advantages and disadvantages are of using those wires. On a side note, 5086 is marine grade aluminum and absolutely has to be welded with 5000 series filler material. 4043 is very soft. 5356 hard hard wire technically feeds better through a longer gun and it's less prone to be crushed by drive rolls that are set too tough the 4043 comes out nice and silver shiny a small frost line around it the 5356 has a lot of soot in it usually 4043 the tensile strength is around 20,000 PSI. 5356 is a few points higher, 25 or more, depending on how it's welded, dependent on how it's heat treated. Heat treating is another issue. 4043 does not heat treat. 5356 is heat treatable. Heat treat, yes. No. So 4043 flows a lot nicer. 4043 is basically aluminum and silicone mixture. 5356 is an aluminum and magnesium mixture. So the magnesium gives it strength but makes it burn green and sooty. That's where the strength comes from, that's where the soot comes from, that makes the wire hard. This is why it's soft, this is why it flows real nice, the silicone promotes the flow, but it's not heat treatable, this one is. If you want to anodize parts, like either hard anodize or color anodize or clear anodize, 4043 does not anodize, 5356 anodizes very well and even true to color. When you weld those pulse, this one is usually a little bit hotter. This one here is cooler because it needs more heat to flow. This one, because it runs cooler, the tow lines, watch for cold tow lines. You have to have the heat set right to not mess that up. This one here, has nice toe lines right out the gate. Also, 5356 is prone to heat cracking in applications over 150 or 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So on parts like intake manifolds, 4043 might be your material of choice. On pulse aluminum, both wires work equally well. On double pulse, the 5356 may make the nicer stack of dimes TIG look. So to wrap it up in a nutshell, on these grades of aluminum here, it's pretty much operator's choice. For everything else, make sure you have the correct filler for the correct job.